Hey guys, Nikki here, and today we have a full dedicated install from Sinosha Hair. This is a closure, not a frontal wig. You guys know I love closure. They're just so much easier to maintain, in my opinion. So if you want to see how I got this beautiful blonde look, please continue to watch. So let's hop straight into packaging like always. You get a pretty pink bag. Sinosha Hair is the company. Drawstring so you can store your wig in when you're done. Let's talk about everything that came in. You will get wig caps, a band to tie your edges with, and lashes, and of course the wig. So the wig is a 5x5. Five five. This is a closure wig, and it is 22 inches long. This is the color right here. Well, actually it's not, so let me adjust my settings so you guys will see the true color. That's the color. It's this very pretty like platinum blonde and brown. So let me show you the inside. The lace is pretty invisible. And the inside has four combs. You got one at the back with the adjustable strap. Two on the side by the ear and one in the nape of the head. Is that the nape? The center of the head. And once again, this is what the lace look like. So we're going to pluck this a little bit because the hairline is kind of boxy and then just get to applying this is going to be an easy install like i said closures are way easier first we're going to tint the cap where the lace is going to be showing or not showing and this is the even glue of course everything i use will be linked below in my amazon store after the hair details it will be a section that say hair products used just click that so she's applying this she's actually going to apply two layers of this blow dry it apply another layer blow dry it again so now let's put the wig on like i said this is a closure i love closures because when i have frontal wigs they always come up by the ears and stuff anyway so it's just a lot of work my only downfall to this wig is you see the blonde tracks right there but i'm going to show you how they were adjusted at the end so right now she's just adjusting the wig to my head, making sure it fit, making sure everything is okay. And she's blow drying it before she tie it down and move on to her next step. So right here she's just getting the excess glue um, so it don't stick to the hair. And she's going to pin this up so that she can get on in there. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> get to the install. So right here, she's tying it up with an edge band. The edge band they provided was silk, and we needed this kind to go ahead and melt. So yeah, that's why she's using that one. She's using her hot comb to lay that flat at the top, and she cut the lace off. She's using her face powder, or my face powder, <laughs> to go over the lace and carving out the hair for the baby hair. So right here, she's going to take some scissors and just cut the baby hair. And then she's going to take some Nairobi mousse, which is our favorite. And she's going to, oh, sorry, no, she's not. She's going to take the pencil flat irons and, and mold the baby hair or curl the baby hair so they will lay better. And then she's going to go in with the Nairobi mousse and like train them first. You always do that because what you don't want to do is go in with the gel and lock them into place and don't like them and then it's going to be like a sticky icky mess so that's what she's doing right here she's just molding them with the mousse so next you will see her take gorilla snot that's my favorite thing to lay edges with. A lot of people say it turns yellow and all that, but I don't wear my wigs excessively like that. And when it do, I just take a spray bottle, get that out and start over. But this is what keep my edges down. And so that's what she's using to go ahead and lock the edges in place. I went kind of fast through the other part, so I decided to slow this part down so you guys can see. And that's what she's still doing. So next up, what she's going to do is dry the baby hair a little bit with the hair dryer. 
she's gonna tie it back down and then she's going to work on straightening this hair now this hair is absolutely gorgeous especially to be blonde it did not have a smell to it or anything it laid so good and so flat that it almost looks synthetic it's nowhere near synthetic it is 100 human hair but that's just how perfect and flat the hair laid when she was done with it it was just it's just beautiful hair you guys see that so what she's gonna do right now is add a heat protectant and then she's going to just go through the hair with a flat iron So now that the hair is good and flat iron, you can take the edge band off, honey. And that's what I'm talking about, about those little blonde pieces on the side. Mm -mm. So what she's doing right now is taking a wax stick, stick and flattening the hair. As you guys can see, look how much flatter that is on that side with just that one little method she used. And we got to be on flat, flat over here, okay? No lumps, no cone heads, no none of that. <laughs> so she's just spraying some spray to get the flyaways. And y'all, this hair is beautiful. I love this color so much. Baby, when I do my makeup, it is on. So she's taking foundation and blending the lace in again. And then she's going to take another brush and define the part, which go back pretty far because this is a 5x5 five five closure. So she's covering it, but y'all, I wasn't too satisfied with that because I always think about if the wind blow or something like that, I didn't want those little white blum pieces showing on the side. So y'all know I'm going to have to do my own little one, two, one, two, but this is a beautiful install. So this is the look right here. Okay. Yes. Yes. Melted. <laughs> so let me just show you my little hack I am going to take a bronzer actually I could have went and got like some brown eyeshadow and just cover that because if the wind blow honey I don't want people like what is that that's showing you get what I'm saying but that's like the only downfall of a closure wig is that little piece stop right there and you have to disguise it in but you see one two three fix so she's getting her little pictures or whatever i threw on a little makeup this is the final look so i know she hair has beautiful hair guys like i said this almost looks like doll like plastic hair is so straight and so beautiful they have black hair wavy curly straight short bobs whatever you want just go look around on their website i do have a discount code that i will leave below and you can split your wig up into four payments if needed so thank you again to sinosha hair for sponsoring this video and i'll see y'all in my next one bye